Today you're going to learn the easiest possible way to make a golf swing that's powerful and repeatable. It doesn't need a whole lot of thinking either. So we can spend more time having fun on the golf course playing the best golf of our lives. And this has worked for so many of my students, I can't wait to share it with you. All we need is a club and we need a torso. And I'm willing to bet you've got one of these because you're playing golf. So an easy golf swing is one that doesn't have a whole lot of moving parts. And I see time and time again, plenty of golfers who think too much about moving the club back with the hands. We can move that anywhere. The arms similarly lifting up, going around. We can move it anywhere. Downswing, same thing. The club can travel a million different directions. Now that means a million different results out there on the golf course for you. And that's not fun. We want one result time and time again that's nice and powerful. So to have an easy, simple golf swing, we have to get rid of moving parts. And the one piece that gets rid of moving parts for us is our body, the torso. We can move the club with this. We can get the club traveling one path back and through. And plus, it feels effortless on the body. Oh, really solid strike right there. We can do that all day long when we have this feel in the golf swing. Take this grip end of your club and lodge it into your chest, right in the center of my body here, just under where the shirt buttons would be. Now, holding that against your body, you'll get a sensation of what it's like to move this midsection. So let's move the club away from us, away from the target. So that'd be me turning my chest to the right, if you're a right-handed player. See that right there? I'm not letting this club get disconnected in either direction. This is always pointing at the center of my chest. So it's glued in there. So the only thing moving this club is my body. So you can see the club moves with the body. It's a really simple way to feel the body and the club relationship together. Now, let's add a little bit of tilt to the ground because in the golf swing we have tilt. We need tilt to hit the ball solid. This is a relationship with the ball. We need to keep this relationship with the ball. So as I turn, I want this club head now to point more towards the camera, which is up in the air. So I've got to use my chest to move that club up into the air. So I'm not going over this way. I'm not going out this way. Just somewhere in between the two, a little diagonal line, upward and inward to where you want it in here. Not low, not high. So you're feeling what the backswing should be like at this point. Turning that chest there. So I've still got this lodged into my chest. And on the way through, on the downswing, you want to do the opposite. You want to get this club to be pointing up in here somewhere. Keeping it lodged in there. It's not rotating on its own. Right there. The club should appear over here somewhere. So we're not going out this way in the downswing or too low and around. And here's another way to look at it. There. Not out or over. So if you've ever had that issue of over the top or hooking the ball, you know, hooking the ball too much out, over the top too much over. We're trying to get in the middle. That's where the land of milk and honey is. That's where perfection is. That's where the beauty of this simple golf swing exists. So if I focus on getting my chest to point this diagonal way up here, I'm just building this feel. I can then attach my arms and hands to the club and by keeping my arms straight, nice and together, I can use the chest to put the club right there. You can see the whole backswing just happened. It's like magic, I tell you. It happened. And I didn't think but one thing. I didn't think anything. You gotta love when you don't have to think to move a golf club. Because humans thinking way too long about the golf swing. So I'm bringing it right there with the power of this torso, this chest. Downswing. Where am I gonna point it? this area. So point the chest up there, feeling that right there. It doesn't get any simpler than one swing thought like that. One swing thought like that will change your life. So we're going back and through, feeling that diagonal line, that slight diagonal. I'm just going to hit a short shot here, feeling my chest in charge Really solid strike. Beautiful little baby draw. Okay, 131 yards. 75 mile an hour club head speed, just barely swaying. Like a rifle off of the club. 
So it gives you an idea of how much effortless power you have. You might even surprise yourself by how much speed you create with the body instead of the hands and arms. Club here, club here. Another really solid strike right there. Once again, barely swinging, just going through the motion of getting my chest to point up this way. And on the way through, pointing up the opposite way. It's the same line though. You're envisioning that you've got a stick in the middle of your chest. A lot of speed in that swing right there. You can see I've added up another 15 miles an hour of club head speed. I pushed it off to the right a little bit. I can fix that though. 93 miles an hour of club head speed by just moving my chest around and keeping my left arm straight, my lead arm straight. There we go. Good strike right there. Ooh, I really nutted that one. Ready. That one was much cleaner than the last one. Wow. We'll take that all day long. Oh, that was a honey biscuit right there. Blistery. What's powering my swing? My torso. Why? Because it's awesome and it's really simple. Mmm. Toasty McNuggets. Holy mackerel. That one just pew, exploded off the club. Thinking about that torso, and it's so simple. Like I said, what else do you want to think about in the golf swing? I want to be swinging and thinking about a cheeseburger I'm eating later in the day. I don't want to think too much about the swing. Wow. Does it get any saucier than that? It works really awesome with the seven iron, but does it work with the driver? Well, yeah, same swing for everything. You're probably gonna hit this ball mash down the fairway with this feeling, no doubt about it. That's a pretty sweet strike. Don't you love how the sound is so mashed too? Boom, boom, boom. So we've got a really simple way here to move the golf club around your body with tons of power and plenty of consistency. More fun for you. If you're looking for a way to play the best golf of your life right now, check out my online golf school, Segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program that will build your swing step by step so that you can hit beautiful golf shots, shot after shot, and start playing the best golf of your life. Life is far too short to play bad golf. So start playing the best golf of your life with Segudo.golf. Thanks for tuning in today, and I look forward to seeing you in a future episode. Have an awesome week.